Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're back on the head for the uh, Tacoma 2.4 liter dual overhead cam. Today my focus is just going to be on trying to get what's left of the spark plug out of the number one hole. Now I'll explain to you why I want to focus on that first here in just a second. So stick around, more to come. Okay guys, so if you're following along, um, we got the head off of here, the number one plug is broke off in there because it was cross threaded at one time and it just got to where, you know, the spark plug needed to be replaced and I just couldn't do it. And so we limped the truck along as long as we could until we got the uh, Chevy. The SUV and then I thought well you know it's got to come out sooner or later you know it's got to come out and sooner was better than later because I mean it was just misfiring and it just needed a new plug and I thought well uh, if it's going to break which I knew it was probably going to it's going to break so <laughs> uh, but at least we had something to drive so now we got to get this what's left the spark plug out we're going to do some drilling I've got a repair kit here um, I you know I don't know if it's going to work we'll see uh, but right now the focus is to get what's left of that out and I'm going to have to do some drilling uh, it being cross threaded I know the threads are really bad so I'm not even going to try to do anything with them right at the moment um, as far as the rest of the engine goes I think what I'm going to do is I can get pistons, rings, rod bearings, main bearings, my thrust plates, uh, seal kit, timing chain, timing gear, timing tensioner, uh, tensioner guides, oil pump. I can get all the bottom end for this thing for a little over 200 bucks. Now that's not that's not uh, that's not counting the camshafts okay so I still may may need to get the camshafts but they're they're pretty pricey they're they're going to cost around four to five hundred dollars just for the two cams two camshafts but I want to see if I can salvage this said before I go uh, put new valves in it because that's going to take some time there's 16 of them I've got to lap every one of them so uh, I thought, you know, let's just see if I can save this first. If I can, that would be awesome. So, uh, let me get ready here. Let me get a drill bit in here. Let's see. And I'm just, I'm going to do it in stages, so I'll speed you up. I don't want to just make one cut do it. So, I want to do it in stages. And I'm just going to take a little bit out of there at a time and work my way up. So it looks like I'm going to be starting with this one. Because this one goes down through. I might run it down through anyway just in case. Just to clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to... Uh, I, I don't think I can get this into my drill press. I think it would fit, but by the time I adapted everything and got the head level, I can just hold my drill straight enough for that, hopefully. <laughs> so, sorry about the lighting. I know it's not great, but the sun's not come around yet, and I don't want to work in the sun anyway, but it's a beautiful day. It's a nice day out. I think it's in the high 60s. Anyway, so, yeah, let me get you zoomed in on that so you can see a little bit more. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on that. Now, then I'm going to have to get the spark plug tube out. Those can be a, a pain. And you don't want to bend them. Because if you bend them, they're not going to seal. You're going to get oil down in, into spark plugs. Which I had that problem before. Before the truck stopped running, it would get oil down into the plug holes. So, but let's focus on this right now.
And let me see if I can find another bit. That's about, this is about the one I want to end up with. So I gotta find one between the first one we did and the one that's in the drill now. So let me see if I can find another bit. Okay, I think I found one. It's going fairly straight. And I gotta get, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's it's not perfectly straight, but it is straight. All right, let me grab my other battery. Okay, put another battery in. I think that's the only second time I've ever charged that since Dennis has sent me this drill, so. I really wish this would have fit in my drill press. But it'll be all right. Well, we're through. All right, now, Remember, whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure, of course, before you put this thing all back together, that you get all this stuff out of there. Now, let's try this battery out of my weed eater. It used to belong to her dad. So, I don't know how long this is going to last. Because I'm sure it's not charged. All right. Well, we're almost through. Hang on, I gotta check my phone. Might be monkey. Her mom's having surgery in her eyes today. Yeah, surgery's over, so um, that wasn't too bad. I mean, let's see, what time is it? It's 11.14. Um, they had about an hour drive to get there, so uh, they left at 8 o'clock, I think it was, so yeah, this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and try to finish this hole out. I only got just a little bit to go. There's that. Okay, it's getting there. It is a little closer on the end towards me. Uh, no, actually, it's about as straight as you can get it, really, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to have to find another step up from that. I do have an electric drill, but uh, the button's stuck on it, so it comes on when you plug it in. Uh, it's an old one. It's like from the 50s, 40s or 50s. Still works good, but... So, you know, if I put a... <coughs> an easy out down in there, you know, maybe I can screw it back out this way and clean them threads up. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I am going to have to find another bit because the next size up I got is that huge one here. Yeah. That one's uh, that one's too big. I don't want to go that big. No, that's way too big. That'd be taking out aluminum. Okay, so let me find. I've got a box of drill bits here. Um, this one just happened to be handy and was laying there. So let me. Um, back you out a little bit now that you know what's going on so let me uh find a drill bit get back with monkey and uh we'll continue on with this thing okay i'm gonna go ahead and try to break this little tab off i do have the right size drill bits for the next size but the drill chuck is too small Ooh, be careful there Get that out. What's left of the electrode from the uh, spark plug? All right, put this away. But I do have the right size bit. The next size, which would be just about what I need. There's still, I think, there's still too much wall there uh, to get an easy out to do anything. Um, so I, I need to go at least one more size up so let me see what I can do here okay so 
they're on their way back already that's pretty cool that was fast um she had to have like that lasik stuff done i don't know they said something about putting up uh, lenses in or something but she said she didn't even feel it so i did find the next size up drill bit i'm just switching these batteries over onto the charger i was going to charge them last night and forgot totally my fault I do have a DeWalt over there that came from her dad's. I have one too. Came from work, but it's busted. It still worked. We had it zip tied together. It got ran over. Um, but so I've got one battery pack that I think is charging. So okay, so that's that's good. That's good. All right. Then I think this will be. Yeah, this is going to be the last one. The last step we do, probably. It depends on if I got to use this. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys seen the boat motor. I had to do the head on the boat motor and I had to put one of these in. I don't know why I've got two missing. But uh, you, drill, you drill this out. Actually, this is supposed to drill it and tap it. But I, I think I drilled it out on the head first because I was having trouble with this. But anyway, this will tap it out so that you can screw this down in and you put Loctite on it. And then you uh, screw your spark plug down into that. So uh, I better make sure that fits <laughs> um, first. So, all right. just heard Bruno barking okay so while I come up with another drill idea um, I'm gonna pull one of these plugs out and we're gonna make sure I'm pretty sure that's the size I'm gonna need there because I got a couple different length and uh, so there's a short one. I know I'm going to need the long one. Uh, let me pull one of these plugs out real quick and we'll see if this fits on it. Yeah, I don't know how he cross threaded that. I mean, these things, you pretty much drop these plugs in here, they almost start themselves. Like, he's like, well, he did it after dark and I, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's straight down in, you know, it's it's kind of hard to, and something got broke and fell down in there. I guess he was all nervous about it, and, uh, and she said it made a noise for a few seconds after she started it, but then it stopped, and this was a long time ago, so these are spark plug tubes. I was telling you, I'm going to have to take at least that front one out. All right, now, let's see if that fits, and it does, so that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, that'll fit perfect. All right, um, is that the size I need once it's tightened down? Yeah, I think that's going to work all right for me. But we still got to get the rest of that drilled out of there. And then I'm going to have to take this out because I have to run that this down through this way. And that's, that's a ways down in there. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. See, because I don't know. We got to get this out of here. I think I'll put a... I can't bend this up here. If you slightly bend it down here, you're all right, like in the center. But if you bend it up here, it's not going to seal. There's uh, rubber seals that go down over top of these, and that's what seals them. Then you also have some sealer you just put on the tube, and you drive this down in with a tube before. Um, but right now, we got to get this drilled out. See if I run it down in this way, it's going to be backwards. So we can't do that. <laughs> Stick around. Okay, so the closest closest thing I could get is a 17 millimeter socket, and I just put a 
just one row of black tape around there and that seems like it's going to fit all right and now I want to stay down right below that top and uh, of course I don't want to score any of this up you know those are very very important so Okay, well, okay, it's not going to work. I'm feeling that slipping. Uh, what that socket does is just keep this from crunching around so bad. Um, let me get a hammer. I'm going to tap on that. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's give it a few taps. Okay, it's moving, <clears throat> at least in that one direction. Let me tighten it up a little bit more. <sighs> well, it was, it started moving and stopped. All right, now that's just what I'm gonna keep doing. As long as I don't mess that top up, we're all right. I'm going to keep working with this. I'll bring you back. All right, so that didn't go well. <laughs> I broke these vice grips. you got to tighten them down, and the bolt just wants to pop out of there. Um, of course, these were too small, so I got this bad boy on there, and it started chewing it up. So I think what's going to happen is... I'm just going to have to ruin that tube to get it out and buy another tube. I just, <coughs> there's just no way around that. Uh, sometimes you can heat them and heat and quench them. They just uh, heat them up, get them good and hot, pour some water on them. Sometimes that'll loosen them up, but I don't have any propane for my torch. So, all right, I guess what I'm going to do now is just keep waiting on these on that battery. Hopefully it'll charge and get at least one more drill through there. And then I'll I'll try to I'll try to put an easy out and see if I can bring it out this way. If I can, that would be nice. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. But I have to get that out of there. I mean, there's there's no other way around it, you know. And this is going to, have to be perfectly straight because I can't get too close to these valve seats. So we'll just have to see. Okay, guys, that's what I got going on. I just had to keep... I kept kept tapping it back and forth at an angle. Side to side with my hammer. And I got this on here. And it's starting to turn. So hopefully it'll come out. If I can keep my wrench tight. So it's just an update. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working on it. I'll let you know when it comes out. I found a little bit left in a bottle. Or now all right I'm gonna keep working with it guys just want to show you the update okay guys so I found a Dewalt battery pack that did take a charge and I don't know how long it's gonna last but I 
Let's see. This is a three speed. It's going. Get a little bit of oil there. Go back down to low gear. All right, that's gonna take a minute. About halfway through though. All right guys, I should've just kept you rolling and sped you up because it didn't take that long, but. All right, now I got that wall paper thin. I'm gonna see if I can put an easy out in here and back it out, which will bring it out this way. Let's see what I can do. Now one thing I don't wanna do or excuse me, is break this tap or this uh, easy out off in there. Um, I know you can't see anything that way, but I can't turn you around, so. Okay, something's going on. I don't know if it's just biting in or what's happening with it, but. I think that's going to work. I can't tell if it moved, so. Well, let me get one more bit down in there. Uh, and we'll go from there. Hi right, guys, I'm almost there. Yeah, alright. So, yeah. If you're getting, if you have this Hemi style head and you're getting oil down in here, every time you change your spark plugs, the oil comes out. Could be leaking here. Most likely up here. This is where ours was leaking because they were cracked up here on top. Hang on. That them big semi dump truck. Same one keeps going past here. He's not supposed to be on this road. They're not supposed to run them semis. We're talking 18 wheeler. But yeah, around here, there's a seal. When you put your valve cover on, it goes in here and seals that. It also seals down here. Down here is not that big of a deal. You put some sealer on there and that'll seal it up. I think ours was leaking up at the top though. All right, so it's kind of a little buggered up, but this doesn't matter. This doesn't do anything out here. Nothing. Nothing touches it. Just this and this. So we'll be good to go there. I can clean that off. Use some sandpaper and stuff. So now I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish drilling this hole. I got to put something under here. I don't know what. I don't know. Anyway, we've got to finish drilling this hole out. That didn't sound good. There we go. Uh, get the battery on the charger. Um, let me grab it real quick. Oh man, that's worse than it was. Oh, it's on two. Alright, I'm going to let it uh, charge up for some more. And I'm just going to have to keep drilling it out. I guess until I can get to this size here. 
Um, like I said, I can drill from this side, but in order to tap that out, I'll have to go on this side. And you can see, I don't know how well that's going to work because I won't be able to get anything on here, a socket. Because once that's down in there, socket is probably not going to fit on that. Uh, may have to make my own tool weld something on up here. I don't know. We'll play that. We'll play it by ear. Hey guys, check this out. Uh, let me get you. Check it out. I think it's coming out. I might be able to retap that hole instead of putting that repair kit in. It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> All right. I know I sound like a little kid, but this is this is exciting. Now I've made taps before with spark plugs. I've cut notches like four of them down the side of here and that creates like a tap got it son of a bean I have got it there it is wow Yeah, it's pretty well buggered up. Let's run this down. I don't think it's going to make new threads. A tap may not work. Um... these got those washers they don't have to be super tight let's run it down through from the other side from the top side let's see if it'll tighten up I doubt it but let's let's just try it I mean it's worth a try right Not worried about this plug because this truck is going to be getting new plugs anyway. And now we got a logging tree trimming truck going up through here. What they do is they like to bypass the traffic. And you can do that by coming onto this road. Ugh. Ugh. See, I'm trying to intentionally strip it out. Ugh. I mean, that thing's not going to come out of there. Just. Ugh. I think. I'm stopping there. I'm not putting that kit in it. I mean, what's the worst can happen? It'd blow a plug out. And I gotta do it all again. <laughs> but that is the worst that could happen. I mean, I was just trying to strip that out and I couldn't. Hey, let's turn it over and look at the threads again. Then I think this thing will be ready for some cleaning up. Not today, but 
yeah there's enough I mean it's not great but you saw how I was really raunching on that thing yeah I'm, I'm gonna leave it like it is because as tight as I had that there's no way that's gonna come out I'm gonna see if I got a tap just to run down through there anyway and uh, we'll see if we can clean at least clean up what is there so let's see all right guys so that's just about gonna do it for today uh, I got accomplished what I wanted to accomplish I got that hole drilled out and the old plug out so um, a lot of cleaning left doing this head like I said I kind of I kind of really need to get this going now because rear end and the Chevy's making a weird noise and I don't like it's been kind of making a noise for a while it sounded like an axle when they're going around the turn but now it's like I don't know going thump 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 on a straight road so I need to get this going as soon as possible but I think I'm going to trust that because I had that in there pretty tight. There's some stuff they used to make. I don't know if they still do. I haven't used it in a while. It was called Form of Thread. And I used to use it on stripped out, uh, uh, on stripped out spark plugs. And uh, it worked pretty good. But if anything, you know, I'll definitely put some Loctite in it. The Loctite that you can take back out pretty easy. I might just go whole hog and just put the regular Loctite in it. And I think once I tighten it down, because I was really raunching, I was actually trying to strip it because I thought if I want, if it's going to strip, I wanted to do it now. And I couldn't get it to strip. So I think once I put some Loctite on it, because that's all going to be nice and clean, put some Loctite on it, tighten it down real good like I just did, and I think it'll be fine. I think the head's going to be all right get it cleaned up need to find me a brass wheel man down here in Florida in my area in Citrus County I forget we went to five or six different parts stores well we went to we went to uh, Napa um, O'Reilly's AutoZone Advance and then we went to a couple hardware stores I could not find a brass wire wheel to go on my drill um, I do have this this will be alright for the block because the block is you know steel um, but I really don't want to use this I run it across the head for a little bit but I didn't like I didn't like the way it was looking so um, I'm gonna have to find me a brass brass wire wheel so I can get the head cleaned up and then hopefully before long I can get I'm just going to go ahead for that kind of money. I'm just going to go ahead and put new rod bearings in it and uh, main bearings, <coughs> rings. I'm going to go ahead and put new rings in it, probably pistons. Uh, oil pump, I mean, the truck deserves it, man. Half a million miles. I mean, there's no sense in, you know, doing half the engine on, you know, if it had 100,000 miles, yeah, no biggie. Even 200,000 on these little Toyotas. I wouldn't worry about it, but half a million, yeah. Might as well put new bearings in it. Alright guys, well, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me, I appreciate it. Another mess to clean up. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> so, uh, don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. It's just her truck. and uh, what going? She's had it what, going on 15 years now. She's second owner. And like I said, it had 70-some thousand on it. I think it had like 150000 on it when we got together. She was thinking about trading it in then. And um, I said, nah, I, said, I can get you some more. No, this thing's about worn out. And uh, she said, it's just, you know, maybe I should just trade it in. I said, look, you like the truck. They ain't going to give you nothing in on trade. If you want to buy something, that's fine, but. I said, there's no sense in getting rid of it. I don't know. It's pretty tired. I said, it might be tired, but I can get you half a million. We, if we stick together, I can get you half a million miles out of that truck. Pfft. Yeah, right. 
I'll, so then I stepped in it <laughs> at two two hundred thousand. I'm going, ah, oh, man, three hundred thousand to go. <laughs> And 400,000, then 450,000. I was like, yeah, it's going to make it now. So I got her the half a million. <laughs> but it's not going to be run as hard. It's kind of retired now. It's not going to be run as hard as it, it's used to. But uh, so it should last another 100,000 anyway. Uh, but we'll see. That is yet to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Take care.